So our bonus question today, uh, you said something to me recently that I, uh, I loved. So when your team is arguing, it's a good thing. Right. <laughs> it may not feel like it at the time, um, but but seriously, when you get to the point where the team is starting to argue about things in an accreditation organization that is brand new, right, that can be a, a milestone that can be a marker for you. How can this be a good thing? That's that's a great question. So um, as uh, our close colleague and, and friend and mentor, Mark Alasel Peterson, has said, that's where the work is actually happening. So knowing that, uh, you know, strong, passionate disagreement about, you know, uh, this process or that process or how we're actually, you know, uh, creating something related to accreditation. And if there's, you know, there's um, conflict, it means that that's, you know, that's where we're finding the meaning um, in accreditation. And what does it mean to meet the standard um, and how that actually occurs? And that really, you know, while there are standards and there's a process and, you know, once you've submitted your self-study, you know, there's, there's information there, right? And um, there is, uh, there's judgment, there's, you know, all sorts of uh, emotions, too, um, I think, as it relates to being passionate about whatever content area and accreditation we are in terms of holding ourselves to those standards. So, yes, it is actually where the work is really happening. It's where the rubber meets the road. Yeah, excellent. It's no longer something that is an imagined thing that, you know, we think this is how this will go. Now you're actually getting your hands dirty, thinking about it together passionately. I like to call that collegial dialogue. Collegial dialogue. Yes, yes. Which is always, which is always important and helps us, um, and helps us, helps us move forward. Helps us Absolutely. really, you know, figure out how to solve those, those intellectual, you know, real problems. Excellent. Thank you so much, Martha. Thanks.